Hey guys, this is your guy Ali again from the Ghana Dream channel. And if you're new on this channel, you're welcome. And please remember to subscribe and share with friends and family. And if you've been here already, you didn't do so, please remember to do so. Today, we're going to be going through with you a video of plastering of our dream house in Ghana. Um, there are a few things I would like to mention before we go through with you with this video, which is very, very important for everybody to get to know before you do your plastering um, in Ghana. Uh, one, you definitely gonna need a cement, a sand, and water. The most important, um, the sand you're gonna use for the plastering. Um, not every sand is used for plastering. They have a specific sand that they use for plastering. You have to make sure you have the right one. It's a very smooth sand and uh, I don't know if you all the masons know about it, but if you don't know, I'm telling you guys today, make sure you have the right one. It makes the job smooth and it come out the right way. Uh, two, there's a chemical they use to mix the mortar. <clears throat> you know, when you mix the mortar, they mix at the chemical, which prevent it from leaking. And also it helps with, um, depending on where you're building, if it's a waterlogged area or by the ocean, but I feel like everybody should use it, you know, no matter where you're building. It helps with, um, you know, when you have kind of a rust by the wall, at the end of the walls, you know, depending on where you're building. Very important, put a little bit of money and you're going to be good, you know, for a while. When you're doing your plastering, I feel like those are the finishing touches of the house, which is very, very important, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I work, uh, I work in a nice beautiful house a building and you see all the walls is wrinkled it's not smooth and all that i don't feel like we should be having a problem like this in this modern world and uh all the technology we have and experience people been doing this for a while you know it doesn't look good you know you put putting money in it and you need something that you know look nice and beautiful you know in terms of like let's say the windows you know the shape of the windows the edges and how square it has to look uh, when they do the work, I see these little mistakes. Believe me, if they don't have it the way, you know, like a square right way, you're going to have problem when they come to fix the windows. And also, uh, I mean, yeah, the window, the glass windows, and also when they're doing, they're going to fix the burglar proof. You know, even not that, you want to see a square, nice shape window and also at the edges of the doors and the windows, you want it to be straight and square and the walls has to be smooth. No matter what, you're going to be living there and you're going to see the uh, the work. If you don't like it, you're going to be living with it for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? I want to help uh, family and friends or who are into construction. I don't want to hire somebody outside to do a work for me. But if you can meet that my demand and you can do it the way I want it, believe me, you're going to go. You know, because I'm working hard and I'm putting money in it to get what I want. You know, I'm going to talk to you, let you understand, listen, man, this is how I want my job. You want, you can do it right. We have a business. We go ahead. You do what you have to do. If I like it, you continue. We do your work. You can do it the way I want it. You're going to have to go. Somebody have to do it. So that's just what it is. Um, you know what I'm saying? We use 35 bags of cement and three trucks of sand. That's what we use for the plastering we did. One thing I will mention, we all want to save money. So we're going to talk about it how we were able to save money things some little things you know you have to watch out you don't need to spend money and how you should be able to do it to save money while you're working we're going to talk about it while the video is playing thank you so uh basically what you're looking at uh, we're preparing the land for uh for the plastering and uh we're doing that because uh we're gonna have to mount a scaffold and uh, we need the ground to be level um for safety so you know that's what we're doing right now we have to do this all around the house um, to make it level yeah you know, that's, that's the same thing we do here uh from the back side of the house and um right here so looking at it the ground is getting level this is the hard working guy around one two boom he had huge rock from the ground And also you looking at the walls you see how it look before plastering yep and uh right here they finish working inside and this is the time they have to move uh, outside of the house 
Look at this guy. He act like he's working when he see me. Lazy guy. Check him. Check. He's gonna sit down. See? See, I told you. Anyway, he got paid. <laughs> So as we move along this one side, um, yeah, real quick, uh, I just want to mention this. Um, these are some of the difficulties uh, we face uh, while working on the side, especially on the top of the mountain where the road is not good and um, bringing materials is a problem. Always we have problems bringing, you know, yeah, a sand or stone or water, you know, on the land. But, you know, these guys, they're working so hard and uh, the experienced guys, they've been doing this for a while and uh, they know what they're doing. So what happened here is um, we we were able to level the street a little bit. Our neighbors put a sand and a stone in the middle of the road and uh, these guys are trying to uh, pass by. We'll see what's going to happen. Damn. Look, look at how the truck is taint on one side. Man, this is scary. Yeah, this makes my heart drop. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, I feel like, you know, these guys know what they're doing and, uh, you know, they train, they still try their best. Well, they made it and um, they, they come in reverse because um, the land where we are is at the end of the road. So they have to back up all the way from the beginning of the road, coming back slowly, trying to figure out and get on the site. You can still see the truck is not level, you know, it's tinted on one side. So now what they're doing is they're dropping some of the sand and they're going to put it on one side that way uh, one tire of the truck is going to go on the sand to make it level for them to be able to, um, I mean, for them to be able to uh, tip the sand on the ground. It's a heavy load, so they have to be very careful as the truck can fall. Very much, Agaba. Oh, okay. Yeah. So from the light, they made it. You no, know, they tip the sand, and they're gonna have to come back again for the next trip. Well, these are some of the um, cements we bought, you know, and uh, this is the rest was left uh, for them to start working outside. Uh, so what you see now is um, a mixed mortar. We call it a mortar after they put the sand, uh, water, and cement together. This is how it become smooth, you know, and they're gonna serve it. And that's how the everything started by slapping the mortar on the walls, beginning trying to make it a little bit more level. That's the water you're looking at. They let it dry a little bit and they're gonna have to come back and scrape it and begin to make it smooth. Because it's a big job, they have all section, all the guys working in a different uh, section of the house. And looking at that guy over there, he's rubbing it, trying to get it smooth. And um, you have someone serving the water as they go. And uh, you can see some of the walls is not smooth. The reason behind that is whatever wall is not smooth is because we're gonna have to um, put a stonework or a task on it. So they have to make it rough that way it can hold the task once they put it on it. Yeah. 
all this ad is done and you can see the walls is smooth and um everything is looking good This is what you want to see so <clears throat> pay attention on the at the edges you know with a smooth wall when you do the painting the painting is gonna look smooth when you didn't have it like this believe me you're not gonna love the end results uh, so they didn't do the windows yet after uh plastering they're gonna come back um and do the window they, they call that uh dressing they're gonna dress the edges of the windows and the um all the end of the walls. <laughs> so as I said, um these are some of the strategies we use to save money, you know. Um with a scaffold, we didn't want to rent a scaffold because we don't know how long the job is gonna, you know, is gonna stay. Uh, probably a month or more. So what we did is we bought the wood two by two and uh, some boards, and I uh, have agreement with my carpenter. Uh, we're gonna have to mount the scaffold on one side of the house. Once they finish working, then we're gonna move it on the other side of the house as we go, you know, uh, step by step or one time, uh, one at a time. So they finish the right side, we move it at the back. And now, as you can see, the scaffold is right at the back of the house. And um, they're going to work on this side. And when they finish, we're going to move it on the other side of the house. No, you got to be smart, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's not that serious. You know, there are certain things you can manage, but certain things, believe me, just do it the right way. Well, I'm happy with these guys who work and also when you look close the beginning the motor uh, kind of look dark but once it, once it dries up the color change and uh, look at this guy at the top working no safety as all as usual that's what they do it's scary but i mean it is what it is they've been doing this and uh, they know what they're doing and uh, i feel like maybe that's the african way look at this guy at the top all the way at the top on this uh huge pillar or pole working with no safety <laughs> this is crazy man and uh also right here they move this guy um, the scaffold and the front and uh, they're still working. Pay close, on, uh, pay close attention on the window. Look how straight, how even the window is. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. You wanna have an even window. The edges look clean, look sharp. That's what you wanna see. You know what I'm saying? So look out for those little things, very important. You know what I'm saying? Check, you see? Exactly, that's why I slow it down for everybody to see. That's what you want to see. So guys, at the end of the day, this is what we have. And uh, that's how the end result. So for the meantime, uh, again, remember to subscribe and share with friends and family if you didn't do that. And stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you.